One of the fundamental goals of neuroeconomics and neuromarketing research is to understand how people make decisions. We do that by analysing data that reveals which parts of the brain are involved when those decisions are made. One important method used to map brain responses is magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. MRI is a diagnostic method for generating cross-sectional images of the human body. This method is based on the interaction between the human body and powerful externally generated magnetic fields. An MRI is fundamentally a giant magnet, extremely powerful, requiring strict adherence to safety procedures when within its proximity. This short video explains the MRI process and outlines some of the preparation and safety precautions required to perform fMRI research. Okay, Phil, you just slide down here. A trained resident technician will be present and in charge at all phases of your research. This includes pre-test really screening and preparation. Everything. All subjects are screened and need to fill out a detailed questionnaire before entering the MRI area. So, I feel this is uh, a questionnaire that we have our patients fill out. Now it's very important that you answer these accurately. Each fMRI procedure takes on average 45 minutes to complete which can be a long time in such a constricted space. How's that feeling? Good. I feel if you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable, just give this a bit of a squeeze. There are two things a participant is given just before they enter the machine. A rubber bulb, which they can squeeze to stop the procedure if for any reason they are uncomfortable. And a button box to perform the task they were allocated. Now Phil, this is the button box for you to make your decisions with. The red button is for the left and the yellow button is for the right. It's preferable the subject doesn't move in the machine as it will affect the quality of the data that is captured. Ideally, the research participant will not move their head at all. Lost data is unnecessary, costly and time-wasting. Okay, we're just about to start the sequence now. MR imaging is based on the most prevalent atomic nucleus in the human body, the hydrogen atomic nucleus, which is found in tissue and blood. MRI uses powerful electromagnetic fields to affect the hydrogen atomic nuclei. The MRI machine generates a powerful static magnetic field. When exposed to this magnetic field, hydrogen atomic nuclei align themselves with the field generated by this magnet. A momentary burst of energy from a radio frequency coil positioned around the head excites the hydrogen nuclei. When this energy pulse is turned off, the nuclei return to their resting state and release the energy that was stored during the pulse. It's that release of energy after the nuclei have been excited that is detected by the scanner and becomes the source of our data. Another magnet, called a gradient coil, makes the magnetic field vary at different points in the brain. This allows us to determine where the MRI signal is coming from. These weak radio frequency signals are then coded and decoded by a computer program. An image of the distribution of the hydrogen atomic nuclei in the human body is generated. The start of every scan begins with a structural scan of the brain. This scan is performed, as is everything else during this procedure, by the resident technician. The idea of this initial scan is to have an image of the structure of the participant's brain. This provides a point of comparison for the post-test image. Without it, meaningful data cannot be extracted. However, what an MRI doesn't reveal is which parts of the brain are involved in different types of thinking. For this, we need to examine changes in MRI responses that occur when different parts of the brain are involved in performing a task. Functional MRI, or fMRI, 
examines these changes in brain responses. What an fMRI can accurately record is the bold response, which is the blood oxygenation level dependent activity that we record. To learn which areas of the brain are activated in particular types of decision making, the participant performs a task which involves the specific kind of decision making that we are interested in. The task will involve a number of decisions that involve the same type of thinking process, such as choosing between two different rewards. Functional MRI images captured during the task show brain regions that require more oxygenated blood during the task. There are three things you need to know in terms of safety when approaching the MRI scanning area. One, do not take any metallic objects into the area. Two, do not take any metallic objects into the area. And three, do not take any metallic objects into the area. And additionally, do not take any metallic objects into the area.